Hi, welcome along to Barbecue Life UK. Today we're doing the burgers around the world cooks. We're inspired by different cuisines from around the world to create burgers from around the world. So today we're going to the state of Oklahoma and we're going to be cooking the Oklahoma burger. The Oklahoma burger is a simple burger. It's a classic burger. It's been made extra famous by George Maltz who's the saviour of the American hamburger, and it's all over his uh, YouTube and First We Feast where he's featured on The Burger Show. So that's where I first found it and tried it from there, and I love it. It is a great, simple burger. So we start off this burger by, um, we slice some onions. So if you've got a mandolin, then this is gonna make this life, this job even easier. If you don't, then you need to be really slow, really careful with a knife like what I did and you want to be getting thin slices of half an onion and getting that as thinly sliced as you possibly can so that you've got thin, paper thin ribbons of onions. Now, if you're anything like me, some are going to be really thin and some are going to be a little bit thicker, but that's just something we're going to have to deal with. If you've got a mandolin, set it nice and thin and just slice through and you're going to have nice uniform, really thin, paper thin slices of onion. So once we've got that, we need to get the barbecue set up. So we're cooking today on the Aldi Kamado and we're setting this up with a plancha on the top. So we're going to light our charcoal in the bottom, let it come up to temperature. If you need to know more information about setting up Aldi Kamados, then please do check out my video on how to set up the Aldi Kamado and vent controls. I'll make sure I put an eye card up in the top corner and I'll leave a, um, a link in the description below for that. So once we've got it set up, we've got our plancha on the top, We've come up to a searing temperature. Uh, so I check the plancha temperature with an infrared gun and we're sitting at around 350, 400 degrees C. So it is super duper hot. So the way that we cook these burgers is we want an 80-20 mix of mints and we've got a nice sized meatball. So these are about 100 grams each. You drop that meatball onto your hot plancha and then before you smash, you go on top with your ribboned onions. So you're going to get some of these fall off the side and you're going to get some pushed into the top of your burgers. So I'm cooking two burgers today and you could double stack this or I'm having it as a single burger and then the other one is for the missus. So we sprinkle our onions on the top and then we smash that down into the plancher and you want to be holding that spatula on there for about 10 seconds and that is really going to push that meat down onto the plancher and that is what's going to give us a decent sear. Uh, the wonderful thing about this burger is that them onions that fall off the edge, they go crispy and they caramelise. The onions that sit on top of the burger, they cook with the residual heat coming through the top and they're a much more traditional uh, soft onion until you flip it and then you get just a little bit of crisp on the bottom side of them so once we've got the color coming up the side of that burger patty that's when we get underneath you want to get under with your spatula really scrape at the plancher so that you don't leave any of the crispy bits behind and get it flipped over once it's flipped over it's nice and simple we're going on with a slice of cheese now if you're stateside you use american cheese in the UK, we don't get American cheese, so you could use something like uh, Monterey Jack. I'm just using a mild cheddar today. So we're going to get that on, get the lid shut, and let that cheese melt down. In fact, before we get the lid shut, we're going to stack our buns on the top because we don't toast the buns in this burger, we steam them. So you put your top bun on top of the cheese, and then your bottom bun you stack on top of your top bun so that they just steam and it makes them nice and soft basically so we're not looking for a toast we're just looking for a nice soft bun so get that lid shut let that cheese melt let them burgers uh, the burger buns steam that is going to take 20 30 seconds at the max and then it is time to build so we take our top bun our bottom bun off sorry get that onto your plate scrape in at that planter again get everything off slide that onto your bottom bun and your top bun's already on the top and that is it, we are done and we are ready to taste. So the iconic Oklahoma smash burger, dead simple, cheese, onions, decent quality beef, give it a bite.
beautiful, just the way it always is whenever I cook these. Got to have a pickle on the side, pop that in with it, absolutely fantastic. The difference in the onions between the ones that are really charred up that kind of fall off of the burger to they're on the, the heat for longer rather than the ones that sit on the top and are smashed in. Them ones are still um, uncharred from when you flip it. So you've got so many different oniony flavours going on in there. Beautiful cheese on the top. Cracking. Simple. No sauce. Don't need it. Everything is just in the in the burger itself. So if you like what we're doing here at Barbecue Life UK, then please do subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video. Leave me a comment. If you've got any more burgers around the world that you want to see me do, any places you want to see us visit, then please leave me a comment underneath. Interaction is massively important to the channel so please do do something thank you very much for watching check out my other burgers around the world videos over here and subscribe over here cheers